has it. He can't come in. He can. Toronto are heading for Super League. 2019 Betfred winning Super League champions, the Leeds Rhinos. Absolutely fabulous. Saints are champions of Super League again. Hello, welcome to this very special edition of Last Tackle. Well, to be honest, it doesn't feel very special, does it? Because we're in unprecedented, challenging and, let's be honest, tragic times. But uh, joining us for the next 20 minutes or so, I'm delighted to welcome uh, Jamie Peacock, who won the Grand Final nine times, and Paul Schoolthorpe, who won the Grand Final on four occasions. Uh, Jamie, if I can start with you, I mean, just, can you point to words what's going on? It, yeah, I think it's pretty difficult. I think you summed it up um, well. I, I think it's obviously unprecedented times and um, I, I just think it's a difficult situation for everybody at the moment, you know, some, some worse than others. And, and, and I, I think, you know, we spoke off there just before we started. The only way out of this situation is for everybody to pull together at the moment. And I think you begin to see that not only in this country, but throughout the world uh, as well. And uh, I think it's uh, there's some incredibly brave things going on, um, you know, certainly with people working for the NHS. Um, uh, and I think it's a case of, you know, let's be patient, let's stick together, and, and hopefully soon we'll be at the other side of it. Uh, Scully, what the NHS is doing is just, it, well, it's amazing, isn't it? I mean, some of the pictures we're seeing from the hospitals right now is just the hard work they're doing, you know, it's, it's heartbreaking, but you just got to admire as well what they're doing. You, you have got to admire it, you know, just to, to see the, you know, what the, the key workers are going through. And, and it's only going to get worse, no doubt, over the, over the next week or two. And, uh, you know, you real feel, feel for them because, they, you know, they're putting their own lives at, at risk to, to save up. And, you know, hands up for, you know, the, the priceless what the, uh, the work that they do and, and should, be, should be highly commended. And, and Jamie, we talk about the NHS, but there's a lot of people keeping the show on the road, isn't there? There's, you know, there's council workers, refuge staff, uh, you know, teachers, uh, the shop workers in the supermarket. They are working so hard. There's so many people keeping the show on the road for us, lot. Yeah, there is. Um, I think, you know, look at myself, I'm not working at the moment um, and I feel almost like fortunate that I, I'm not not having to work given that what everybody else is going through and you're right the, the amount of hard work that a lot of people not just in the NHS but a broader spectrum of people and that and just mention the NHS you know I just backed up my uh, one of my friends his wife works in the you know intensive care unit in Leeds and she's coming home you know realizing she's got to make the decision got to get in there and try and help people but knowing there's a chance of them catching corona and, and passing away off the back of it it's, it's a real tough battle every day and that, that kind of brings it home and yet when i get to speak to my mate and uh, how she's dealing with it as well but they are proper front line jamie aren't they now proper proper front line yeah, yeah, they, 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 you know, the heroes. There's no other way to look at it. They, they, they are heroes. There's, there's no doubt about that. And what they're doing every single day to make sure that people are able to stay alive is just incredible, absolutely incredible. And, you know, we, we have that round of applause every Thursday night. And uh, that should, long may, that, that should continue. And, and they, I think they've got the respect up and down of every person within the country for uh, the courage and bravery they're showing. Uh, Scully, even more people came out on my street this Thursday to clap for the carers. It's, uh, it's amazing, isn't it? It's, uh, you know, it really, really makes the, uh, the hairs in the back of your neck stand up. You know, when you can hear it, certainly, you know, in a, in, we live in a little, uh, a little community as well, and you can hear it from, from miles around. And, and rightly so, everybody should be out. You know, as I said, the, the job that they're doing and the bravery that they're showing um, is, is, is outstanding. And uh, Jamie, you're doing a bit of volunteering at the moment. Yeah, I just um, yeah, I mean, obviously I've not much work at the moment. So there's not much sport going on. Um, so there's a charity in Leeds called We Care Leeds, and uh, I, what I do is just go down and deliver like six or seven parcels a day uh, to people in and around Leeds. Or the council recommended, you know, vulnerable people, people, old age people, and care workers as well, and people who have been isolated. And I just think everyone's got to do their bit. You know, I can't work in, work in an hospital, but I can help the people who work in hospitals, and I. And I can help support people in and around that and you know a lot plenty of people are doing that and plenty of people have got that mindset I think you know you would say before this Brexit had divided the country and this has kind of brought people together well I'd love to talk about Brexit right now than this I'd, 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 I'd love to talk about <laughs> this right now 
<laughs> I'd even talk about refereeing in the Super League and talk about this, gents. <laughs> Look, steady. I, I, I'm being serious. I think if we don't laugh, we won't get through this as well, you know. Uh, look, yeah. it's horrible what we're going through, but I think as a country we do need some light relief. And, and gents, I was in real two minds about even doing this show, but then I decided, look, there's there's rugby league fans out there that probably want a bit of light relief. So I suppose the obvious question, uh, I'll go to you, J JP, first. When do you think we will see rugby action back? It's the sooner the better. I think we're all of the same mindset. The sooner the better. But the sooner as it's safe to do that. And if that means playing a couple of rounds behind closed doors, and I think let's do that. Let's bring it back. I don't think the game as a whole can have a season played behind closed doors like the NRL. But I would certainly like to see some live rugby in June. You know, maybe the season restart in July. It looks like we're, you know, heading for the peak in the next, you know, week or so, 10 days. And then we're seeing um, in Europe how it's dropped off and we'll maybe get the same here, release the lockdown a little bit. And hopefully we can get back out there and see uh, some rugby league and get back to a bit of normality and what, what we all enjoy in life. I think most people have come away from this and realised, you know what, I really do miss sport and I miss rugby league. Uh, Scully, I, I spoke to Super League this morning. Look, they said they're obviously adhering to the government guidelines and they're reassuring anyone watching right now that the Super League and the RFL are doing a lot of work behind the scenes of talking to the government every single day. Because obviously, let's be honest, when rugby comes back, it's the safety of everyone is the first and foremost. Without without doubt, safety is, is paramount. You know, that's that's got to come first. Um, but I think rugby league, you know, I think Ralph and, and his team were... We're really on the front foot and probably in front of a lot of other sports in, in regards to, you know, to dealing with this and getting on, getting on the front foot. Um, so hopefully, you know, as JP says, we, we all want to see sport and, and certainly rugby league back as, as soon as we can, as soon as it's safe for everybody. And, they, you know, I think with, even on, even on you know, watching on, 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 on Sky, on TV, you know, the, the lack of, of live sport, how much people miss it. So hopefully, you know, when... Live sport is back. It, it drives even more people to, uh, to the game. Obviously, there's uh, priorities with uh, with monies, but you know, hopefully, the uh, people realise what what they're missing. Uh, look, it is going to be tough financially. I don't think it's you know it's denying that for you know the Super League and the Championship and League One, the women's game. You know, we're we're very different uh, to football. But I think Scully. Where I take some heart is, you know, the rugby league family. I think a rugby league, rugby league family will will get together when rugby comes back. It certainly will. Really will. I think we're, we're renowned for that, aren't we? Within within our sport of, of sticking together and, and helping each other, and and I think no more need than, than than now. And, and certainly when you know when games come back around. So I think I don't think we'll struggle on on that front. I think we're we're a game, as I said, that's, that's steep with, uh, with with helping each other. And I know the Super League and the RFL are talking all sorts of scenarios at the moment when the game might come back, etc. But we can't stress enough, they are talking to the government all the time and they will adhere to any government guidelines. Now, obviously, there is talk that when it does come back, it could be behind closed doors. Have you ever played a game behind closed doors, JP? Not, not that I can remember, no. I mean, the closest you come to that is when you play, uh, like, almost grab. Um, when you're uh, playing sometimes for England and Great Britain, you've had sessions against um, each other and it's been pretty full on and been behind closed doors. I remember one in 2001, I think, uh, with David Waite. Uh, we did one similar with Great Britain, behind closed doors. But I, I think it'll be a success if they do that. I think the players are, are, are ready to do it. And I just think, I agree with Scully, I just think you'll see a surge of support for sport. Because um, I think sometimes in life you don't realise how much you you like something or you, you love it until you miss it, uh, until it's gone. And I think that's certainly the case with, with, with rugby league. I can't see you boys not doing a session that's not full on, to be fair to you. <laughs> I, don't think you did, I don't think you did half-hearted, you two, did you? <laughs> no. No such, thing, no such thing as the mark. <laughs> no, but, well, I wouldn't know, obviously. You know, I, I ran around the block this morning and it nearly killed me. But uh, uh, look, you know, at least I, I'm able to get out and exercise every day. That's the most important. Uh, how are you boys filling your time? Start with you, Scully. Look, I know you're a fitness fanatic. You used to go to the gym load, so how are you filling your time? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm lucky I've got, uh, I've got a lot of gym equipment at home, so I'm training every day. Um, you know, still still training probably harder than ever. Uh, I've turned it into a bit of a, a, bit of a training camp. 
might as, uh, might as well get the, the, the benefits of it. So, yeah, keep keeping active, obviously, keeping uh, exercise and, and sticking within the, you know, the rules of, of, of what's set. Uh, I'm still quite busy with, you know, stuff going on with, with England and, and the programmes, a lot of webinars, a lot of, uh, a lot of Teams, Google Teams meetings and, and Skype. So still keeping active and, and really planning forward for, for when we, we do come back to it, that we're, we're up and running and uh, you know, hit the ball rolling. You obviously had your hair cut at home. Yeah, I let the kids free um, about a week ago, so it's, it's grown back a bit anyway. Yeah. There's, mate, there's only one way to do it, isn't there? There's only dubbers. <laughs> uh, JP, you mentioned you're doing a bit of voluntary work. How else are you, you filling your time? Yeah, I've just got a little bit of work, but I, I'm probably the same as Scully. Um, I just, you know, I love training, love fitness, and I think it's something that, you know, it gives you something to look forward to each day to go out and try do it. You know, staying within the guidelines, and um, you know, I'm trying. I've got my own little challenge going on. I'm trying to get up to doing um, like a, an half Ironman duathlon. So, so hopefully in five weeks, I'm going to cycle 90k on the watt bike at, at home in the garage, and then run 21k just round near me, stay local near me, and do that. So that's what I'm trying to do. But I think it's something you know everybody should try and do and keep doing. I think it's good for your mental well-being. It's to train, even if you say, Mark, just like you, and just go around the block once. So that, what, how long are you doing? 21K running and 90K on the bike? Yeah, so it'll be about four and a half In six hours, weeks? Yeah, so I should get up to that. I did the... Uh, but you're planning to do the... this in a day? Yeah, yeah, in a day, yeah. Not in a week, Mark. Yeah, <laughs> Not a week, yeah, okay. yeah. Sunday morning it'll be. I reckon in about five weeks, it should be, maybe four weeks, I'm going to give it a crack. See if I can do it. See, see how we go on with that. Um, I tell you what I've started doing. Uh, you know, I've managed to order online as well. I've started doing a bit of boxing, uh, and I've never done right, it before. Okay. And I, I know both you fellas have done it as well. And I tell you what, all right, I'm only doing sort of like 15 minutes a day, but I've got even more admiration for boxers now because at the end of the 15 minutes, I am truly knackered. Man, it's one of the best. It's one of the best training sessions you can do is uh, is boxing for for everything. You know, your, your cardio, your you know, your strength, your power. Um, yeah, it's, you've got to put your, uh, your admiration up there for, the, uh, for, the, for those guys who for a living. It's, uh, it's one tough sport. But yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a massive fan my, myself, Mark. And I know that obviously JP does a bit of boxing as well. It's a uh, yeah, great sport. I'm not getting in the ring with you two, by the way, before you start. <laughs> <laughs> uh, JP, I wonder if you've got any tips for our viewers, because obviously so I'm lucky enough to have a garden or whatever, and, you know. The run around the block is a nice sort of two miles, you know, so, you know, it's decent enough. Any tips for anyone? Because you don't actually leave, have to leave your house here to, to stay fit. You can run up and down stairs, don't you, JP? Yeah, yeah, it's loads you can do. You mean, I mean, you can run up and down the steps at home if you've got steps, if you live in a bungalow. Then mm -hmm. you, you can uh, do some press-ups, body weight exercise inside. You can use tins of beans, you know, bottles of water to do exercise if you want. Then there's also, you know, my kids are watching Joe Wicks on TV. They, they love to dial in into him. There's nothing wrong with adults doing that. I think he, he does a great job. And I think his, uh, his 30 minutes is something anybody can do. Uh, and I think of all, all levels can do it. But I just think it's really important to try and do that. I think it you know, releases some endorphins in your brain. Gives, breaks up the monotony of the day if, you, if you're not working at the moment as well. Uh, and it's something you should all try and do. And just... Try to keep a daily record of it as well, you know, write down what you've done each day. And it's good to look back on at the end of the week what you've actually done for the week. Because I can think sometimes with, uh, with, you know, we've just been at home all the time. It all blends into one. And I yep. think it's good to keep a daily record. That's what I'm trying to do anyway. I, uh, I seriously think, Mark, I think it'll, it'll reset a lot of people this. You know, as, as hard as, and tough times as it is, I think it, it might, uh, might give a lot of people perception on, on, on the things that are important and... Uh, you know, it's, it's not all negative. You know, you're spending more time with your families. You know, it's, it's, you've got to look at the positive sides of it as well and use the time wisely, you know, be it on the fitness side, be it reading a book, you know, upskilling yourself and try and be, try and be proactive with, with your time because, you know, everybody's got a lot of time at the moment, but make it, make it work for you, make you a better person for when you come out of it. And as we've seen that, you know, Boris Johnson in intensive care at the moment, figures crossed with the Prime Minister, look, any, anyone can get it. And, you know, Listen to the advice, all right? You're allowed to nip out for exercise, and I went this morning very early, but stay at home. Stay at home unless you're going out for food or doing that exercise. Yeah, 100%. You, you know, there's a couple of things in life. You can either make the uh, right, easy decision, 
or the right decision. And for you as a person, the easy decision is to go out and do what you want to do. But the right decision is to stay at home and do the right thing for everybody else. Do the unselfish thing for everybody else. And I think the sooner we all buy into that, the sooner we get out of this together. And it just takes a little bit of of hardship or just staying at home. But as Scully said, you can use the time wisely. You can come out of the other side of this in six to eight weeks' time. I've been ready a few books be a little bit fitter and a little bit wiser and maybe even closer to some people um, that you're not normally that close to by ringing people every single day and, and chatting to people but there's always a way um, and people just need to you know stay in and stay safe you can't get simpler than that uh, Scully I'll tell you what I have found is that I lose track what day it is I, I do know it's <laughs> Tuesday yeah. and I've been reliably informed by my kids obviously because they want the chocolate but it's <laughs> Easter weekend so Good Friday would normally mean Saints versus Wigan. So, come on. What does Saints versus Wigan mean? Because we will get the games again soon. Yeah, mate. Well, I think I think this this Friday, that game, that Saints versus Wigan is, is, is the big one of the year. Um, without doubt, you know, the history in, into that game. And uh, just what it means. And obviously, Easter, you know, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a great time of year. And, uh, and everybody comes out for, for, for these games. And, you know, to, to play in that that good Friday, uh, fixture was was always was always uh, you know a great a great day. I really enjoyed. And I think it'll hit a lot of people in your community, won't it, on Friday when obviously it's not on Scully because it's you know it, it, it's Good Friday for many people, isn't it? It's St Helens versus Wigan. It is. It is. You know, a lot of people are going to be missing it this year. Um, but you know what? He'll be back before we know it, and and great, you know, the the, the Sky Sports as well of uh, you know the, the rugby league there is showing a lot of the old games, and I, I believe there's a there's one of the same Wigan games on, you know, from I think it's 2003 that the, the, the showing on on Friday. Uh, I'm not sure of the result of that one, so I might have to check that out before I watch it. Um, yeah, so I mean, you know, they're the bringing some, they're bringing some old games back and and trying, you know, keep the the rugby on the on the forefront of people's minds. So, um, but there's nothing like a like a live good uh, good Friday game, uh, Saints and Wigan. But as I said, we're back before we know it. Sherman not to show in 2004, isn't it? It was pay per view boxing, wasn't it? You and Andy Farrell. Proper game that one, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I won't say what he said. <laughs> uh, JP, how are the Leeds lads? Yeah, they're, they're all right as, as far as I know. Um, I think they've all, they've all been sent to training programs. They're, they're, they're doing that uh, away from training. And I think like most players, they'll be wanting to get ready and get back doing what they like doing, which is playing. And I think what you'll find is that the, the players who have the best self-discipline, the players who are able to train hard each day and don't have to rely on being told to train hard, they're the ones who are going to come back and hit the ground running in, in July and be the best players. And I think it's a great incentive as a player to try and get out in front of every other player by training harder than them. Totally, totally agree though, JP. I think, I think there's, there's those guys, because we know some won't do it, but I think those guys who want to do it and use this opportunity as, of, of taking a jump on other people because, you know, the season will be up and running, you know, before we know it. But if they take this opportunity, you know, they can, they can get a jump on there. Uh, on other players in, in Super League and reap the, reap the benefits of, uh, of when they come back. And, and JP, how, how's Rob Burrow? Yeah, Rob's good. Um, you know, I traded a few WhatsApps with him the other day. You know, he, obviously, he's, one, he's in the vulnerable category given his illness at the moment. But, you, you know, the best thing about Rob, and I, I loved it as a player, is his sense of humour. You know, he's got a great sense of humour and he's still got that same sense of humour now. And it's very self-depreciating. Uh, but it's a great sense of humour, in fact, you know, and he, he, he was a kind of glue in the dressing room as a player, you know, his ability to connect with the older players and the younger players just through his humour, and he's using the same same with that now. I mean, obviously, it's frustrating, probably be like to be out there watching more of league, but he, he knows the situation he's in and the fight that he's in. Uh, gents, we're, we're running out of time, so look, just the final word, let's, let's finish on the NHS at Scully. Just try and put into words what the NHS are doing for us right now. Just a just an exceptional organisation and an exceptional people. I think uh, you know we're, we're really so fortunate to for what we've got in this country, and and, and let's let's support them, and, and you know let's give them the respect that, that they deserve in in following the guidelines that are set to to try and help people. JP. 
Yeah, just as Tim Scully, I mean, they, they are the heroes. They're the heroes of the day. You know, you talk about sports stars being heroes. But they, when we and the current ones are nothing in comparison to what the NHS staff are doing, going to work each day, knowing that they're, they're putting themselves in, in a chance of losing their lives to the coronavirus. And as again, as Scully said, the, the least we can do is just listen to the government and do the right thing. A bit of inconvenience for us gives them a better chance of survival. So just get on with it and do it. And, Fantastic job by the NHS staff and carers. We're, we're all behind you 100%. I think it's, I think it's great as well, Mark, as well, that the people are recognising this and, you know, and, and, and giving to the, the people of the NHS. I know, obviously, being in the Rugby League family, you know, John Dutton and the, the Rugby League World Cup team are, are going to donate, um, you know, tens of thousands of tickets to NHS workers and, and key workers for, for the World Cup next year. So... You know, right, we saw that the, they're, they're valued the way they are. Uh, Salford have just announced today that the emergency services can go free for the rest of the season as well. And look, that, loads of clubs will be doing stuff like that. Gents, really enjoyed your company. Let's do it again as well very, very soon. But to all of you watching this, thanks for watching. Look, stay safe. That's the most important. Follow those government guidelines. And look, if we all stick together, we'll get through this. He can't, Cabin! He can! Toronto are heading for Super League! 2019 Betfred winning Super League champions, the Leeds Rhinos! Absolutely fabulous! Saints are champions!